All right, dudes and dudettes, today we find out if I can take on a wither. Let's see how it goes. All right, dudes and dudettes, this is going to be crazy. So we do have this cool short sword that can shoot out cool beams. Uh, we have our mana tablet here full of mana so we can be regenerating our armor. We got protection four, protection four. Uh, magic protection and then uh, depth strider because you know that's that's handy. So let's see how this does against a wither. So we're about 300 blocks away from the base. Base is that way. And I want to see how well this sword does against this guy. Probably just gonna be a flying contest. All right, did we even get hit once? <laughs> hey, come back here. We'll make it worth it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're we're pretty good. Let's see here. Whoa, did I get 3 skulls back from that? I just realized that. We're gonna try this again. I'm gonna take a notch apple. All right, we got a notch apple. Ooh, lag. Yeah, we got three skulls back from that. That's crazy. We didn't even need 12. All right, perfect. Let's go fight the Gaia Guardian next. All right, guys, quick interruption. Huge shout out to MC Pro Hosting. They sponsor our vanilla fan server and the modded fan server that we're in. We're currently playing Sky Factory 4. In order to join that world, all you need to do is just go to my Discord link and down in the description and you'll be able to access that. It's very straightforward and very easy to follow. But huge shout out to them if you guys want to get a server for say you and your friends. Just go to their site and enter into the Turtle Club to get 15% off your first month. Yeah. Alright guys, now if I remember correctly, we are kind of locked into a uh, an area when it comes to these... Uh, give me a second. All right, so let's let's have a look here. Let's see, where do we even need to place this? So we're just. All right, so we'll break. We'll, oh, we can't break this. <laughs> Didn't think this through. All right, so let's go ahead place these in the right blocks or in the right spots now. All right, so that's good. We'll place this here. Pylon. Okay. Sneak right click the beacon with the Terra Steel ingot. All right, and click. Uh, maybe improper. Okay, so we need to need to get rid of these. Oh, forgot that over there. Okay. Um. Leave it Maybe improper. Might be good. Check the obstructions in my area. Or large gaps. Oh, okay. All right, let's see now. It's probably gonna tell us on the other side. Yeah, okay. So if we just do this. All 
All right, so this should be it. Whoa, we're getting wrecked. Oh no! We died. <laughs> oh dear Lord. We, okay, we may need to grab our netherite armor because it is a little bit tougher, I do believe. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the trial's over. Dang! Okay, so I need more... Uh, a witherless rose would be amazing because that wither damage sucked. All right, we got more terra steel ingots. We can, we can do this. Okay, um... Sweet berries, okay. Do we have any sweet berries? Oh, we do. Oh, I got my magnet on. Oh, that's right, we need to have the switcheroo guy. Oh, wait, we can't go. All right, does this still work? Can we do this? No, we can't. All right, so it looks like it's just going to be normal golden apples for us, but we're going to have 47 of them because we're freaking Gs, and we're going to throw that in there. We're going to take this with us, and we're going to try to do this again without dying. It would be great. Okay. Okay, let's try this one more time. Oh my goodness. Okay, so our armor is just simply not strong enough. So let's grab our netherite armor.
Okay, so this should be good. If we go slash back. Oh! Just spam click. No, you stay away. Oh. We did it. We did it. Holy crap. We got the Gaia shards. Oh my gosh. A witherless rose is almost necessary for this. Holy crap. We did it. We got the Gaia spirits. We can make the Gaia mana spreader, which is amazing. The charm of the diva. I don't know what that does. Cloak of virtue. Don't know what that does yet. What can we throw it in here? Oh, shulk me or not. Oh my goodness. Cool looking flowers. Crimson Pendant. Okay, I definitely need to do some more research here. Black Hole Talisman. Oh my gosh. A Nimbus Amulet. Oh, this must be Creative Flight. Cloak of Balance. Okay, we gotta go check some of these stuff out. Oh, but we freaking did it. Holy crap. Okay, so chest plate, helmet, pants, boots. Put those back. Holy heck, Batman. I didn't even have my angel ring on for that. That's how cool we are. Okay. Epic shaders. Don't really care about that. All right. So let's make this cloak of balance because it looks amazing. All right. So we need some light gray wool. Oh, we need one more. All right, Cloak of Balance. Let's have a look here. Uh, is it like this? Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Hello, people. <laughs> My arms stick out of it. We are going to do some really cool stuff today. <laughs> what does this do? Inner Balance, craft any variety of trinket and wear it. Okay, so we just completed that. Let's see. Does this give us anything else? Oh, Ritual of Gaia 2? Combining two of the most powerful botanic sources. No, any tear stone and Gaia spirits would create a material that would be truly unstoppable. Unfortunately, the reality is such a very much unstoppable. In fact, the two sets, they just seem to cancel almost perfectly when combined into an utterly useless alloy. Okay. 
Sinking Hour can be sacrificed to be consistent with an even stronger guy, Guardian, with more strength, speed, and resistance. On the other hand, Slaying uh, yields many more Gaia spirits, as well as a handful of goodies and rare treasures. It's a worthwhile foe. Hmm, the Gaia spirit ingot. Okay, so that's something we're going to look into. Um... How do you find... Oh, I can go like this. If I hit control on it. Okay. Cloaks of Judgment. The Cloaks of Judgment are a worn set of cloaks that can be worn as a body trigger slot. A cloak will trigger its power when the wearer takes damage, but afterward will go into a 10-second recharge period. Cloak of Virtue will block all the damage from a single hit. The Cloak of Sin... A Cloak of Virtue, a uh, Cloak of Balance, will evenly split the damage between the attacker and the target, preventing its bear from dying in the process. Oh! Cloak of Sin will damage near all nearby mobs, hostile mobs, for the same amount of damage its wearer took. Okay. Um, very cool. Now, what else can we make with this stuff here? Uh, Charm of the Diva. Let's hold control. We can find out what it does. Blesses the wearer with the power to turn attackers on their comrades and also uses mana to twist the hearts of mobs to harm its wearer, causing them to go af after one another nearby hostile mobs instead. Very cool. All right. Cloak of Virtue, Gaia Mana Spreader is probably the best one out there. World Shaper. World Shapers. Um... It's a handy tool to place blocks. A lot of them really quickly. Use a sneak block right there. Throw a block and choose the block to be placed. Okay, so it's like a builder's wand. Very cool. Give me a second here. I'm just going to kind of go through these. Okay, so this is a mob spawner mover. That's very cool. But it only works once, unlike our cardboard boxes. So kind of useless. Okay, I think we need to go ahead and make this. This is a rod of the unstable reservoir. And I don't even actually want to tell you guys what it does. I need to show you. So let me get this thing crafted up. As you can see, it's not very difficult. Uh, we just need some Dreamwood twigs here. Um, we should have everything. Yes. Okay. Let's go test this bad boy out. All right. So we're going to come over here to where we see quite a few mobs. And we're going to kind of go around a little bit to kind of pile these guys up, if I do say so. That's what it does. It just hones in on them. Now I assume this uses mana. Um, let's see, let's go over here. Yes, it does use mana. Oh, our cloak worked. But it's got a cooldown. Okay, so our cloak looks kind of silly, but it does work. I wish it just kind of took the, the thing of a cape with make maybe some shoulders. Um, but this is a very cool weapon. Um, so let's see here. This is what we need for the tier two fight. Uh, I do want to make a... Let's go to Batania real quick. The, the ring to hold some mana. Yeah, the greater band of mana. That's what I want to go ahead and make now. All right. So, mana tablet. Oh, we're out of living wood. All right, guys. So, it's episode 20, and we are going to be doing a world download link down in the description, you will see a link that will take you to a world download if you want to go ahead and play on this world with me. So go ahead, check that out. It's down in the description. It'll take you to another site, and you'll be able to download the world. Yeah. All right, so a mana tablet here. Mana ring here, or band of mana. And then greater band of mana. So, do we just, like, chuck this in like normal? 
Yeah, it's definitely going in, which is perfect. And I do believe it holds more, so we're going to see how much mana we can take out of this guy. Okay, so that's a whole thing of mana here. Um, let's chuck it into this guy, too. All right, so now our ring is completely full. Not really. I lied. Okay, so this thing has a com like two complete mana t uh, pools in it. So we have a whole lot of mana at our disposal. We can get rid of the mana tablet here since it is taking up a spot in our inventory. Farewell, mana tablet. All right, so let's go ahead and get our backpack here. Throw those guys in. Is there anything else that I want to go ahead and make real quick? I don't think so. All right, guys. I found something that is a fantastic, and we totally need to do it this episode. So if we look here, double alf steel, alf steel ingots is just two alf steel ingots combined with mana powder. But look at the uses. We can upgrade our armor. It goes from six armor all the way up to, like, okay, so eight. Okay, it just looks really cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on that for the rest of the episode here. Um, so I'm going to need quite a bit of elementium, um, quite a bit of mana, those guys. We're going to need to make some more mana pearls. How many do we need? So four. Is there any total of... Uh, Eight of these made up. Okay, I can do that. All right, so one down, seven to go. This is seriously going to take a long time just because we don't have a whole lot of mana being produced. So I'm going to wait for these guys to go ahead and charge up. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get our system over here. Um... I'm going to get all of these guys firing at all cylinders. We'll probably end up moving it down here. Uh, so what I do plan on having is we're going to have just the normal Terra Steel one uh, in the middle. Actually, no. What we'll do is we'll have um, the Terra Steel, say, like here between these two guys. And then we'll have the one for the Elementium here. So we'll have a 3x3 three three here, 3x3 three three here. And that way, each of these will be associated uh, to all six of these that, that can be used at one time. I think it's just going to be really sweet. So I'm going to start working on these, getting all of these guys set up to start producing some mana, and then hopefully by that time we'll be able to make at least a few more of the uh, the Alpha Steel ingots. All right, dudes, we are back, and I've gone ahead worked on this room quite a bit. As you can see, we got some crazy stuff going on here. If we look over here, you can see uh, that we have our sparks set up here, and it looks like they're pushing its mana away, and that is because it is. So I have these um, recessive spark augments on them, where it basically takes the mana from the pool and pushes it over to the next available one. Um, unfortunately, if I have one here like I would want, it doesn't quite reach from over there, and that guy just kind of sits idle, so I don't really want that. I just have it on these two on each side. Uh, but the cool thing is, is now that these are filled up all the way, uh, all we have to do is just go, oh, where'd my pixie dust go? Okay, so we come over here, and all we gotta do just go boop, boop, boop. Now this will get made up. As you can see, it's gonna push all of the mana over as far as it can. This guy doesn't have one. There we go. So as you can see, if we look here, it's pushing all that mana out to the next available one. And I believe it's going through here and getting pushed into this guy here, which is closest to here. So it does mean that wherever this is, I think it's going to look cool anyway, uh, but wherever these are, they do have access to all four mana pools at once. And that is the end of that. How do you do that? Oh, we need the mana powder. Okay, let's go head back to the base. So in case you guys are wondering real quick before we go, um, it's not going to continue to push it over here once this is full. Uh, these will go ahead and fill all the way up. And then once this starts to get taken from, these will start to push more mana into it. So all in all, it, it, it it's, wor it's working better than I thought it would.
All right, we are back here by the materials. And there we go. We can make our double uh, Alf Steel ingot. So we're going to go ahead, take our armor off. This is what we look like without any armor on. We are very cloaky. <laughs> we're mysterious. Anyway, so let's go over here. And Alf Steel chest plate. Uh, Alf Steel helmet. Alf Steel leggings. And Alf Steel boots. <laughs> this is cool. Let's go ahead and take our, our cool cloak off just to take a look at the armor. Ooh, does that give us a speed boost? Sure does. Holy heck. Okay, Will of the Ancients. 20% less mana cost of mana tools and rods. Regen, even if hunger isn't topped off. Passive, passive mana generation on mana tablets makes you jump higher. All right, makes you run faster, makes you fairly good knockback resistance, and you makes you reach a little bit further. So can we break this block from all the way over here? Ooh, how far can we go? That's the range we have. Let's see. Let's do a count. Okay, so here. Okay, we got one more. So we have a... A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight block reach now. Holy heck. I bet if we put reach on our chest plate as well, we could get even more. Let's see, do we have anything like that? It's got reach two. Let's give this a shot, see what happens. Okay. So let's add that to our chest plate, I do believe. Reach two. Okay, we already have a breaking on it, perfect. So now can we break this from here? Oh my gosh, we can. Okay. What about midway? Okay, so what about here? Okay, one block here. How about here? Nope. Okay, so it looks like we have one, two, three, four, wait, hold up, I'm miscounting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we got an additional block out of that. That does mean, though, that our range for smacking things is going to be a lot further. So let's test this out. All right, we got a bunch of zombies over here. So let's just see about hitting them. Ooh, okay, so it's still relatively close. But I do think the reach is helping us when it comes to hitting these guys closer. Very cool. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. And we look freaking amazing. Now our face doesn't look as derpy. It still kind of looks derpy. But anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode for today. If you guys did enjoy the episode, please do make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, it's been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. Take care. 